Hey guys, welcome back to Upkeep. This week, we are all having companions. That's right, we are breaking the rules of Commander by having a sideboard slot, and that works because Wizard said so, so they could sell more Ikoria, but uh, not to die on that hill. Let's jump into the deck intros. Today, my companion is Umari the Collector, and I have Bruce Tarl and Ikra Shadiki as a partner pair for my Commander. So, my entire 99 is only creatures. I have Umari to make my creatures cost a little bit less, and then I have just generically good Good creatures with good enter the battlefield effects, attack triggers, stuff like that. Really janky four color pile, but uh, it's a really fun deck building restriction. So let's see how it goes. Hey guys, Preston here for another episode. Today, my companion is Luris of the Dream Den, and my commander is Lotho, Corrupt Sheriff. It's a deck where everything is two or less with the creatures and permanents. Uh, I wanna cast as many spells as I can every single turn, uh, get a lot of advantage from casting stuff, get stuff back from the graveyard, have a good time. Hey guys, Tommy back for another episode. Today, my companion is Karuga the Macro Sage. He forces my starting deck to only have cards that cost three mana and land cards, so interesting restriction there. And my commander is Emoti Celebrant of bounty. He has Cascade and he gives spells with mana value six or greater Cascade. So it's all about Cascade, big spells, big creatures, and let's see how it goes. Hey everyone, Jason back for another episode of Upkeep. Today I'm going to be playing Zerda the Dawn Waker as my companion. So every permanent in my uh, library has an activated ability and my commander is Kenrith the Return King. Uh, I'm going to be activating Kenrith's abilities, making them cheaper, getting a lot of advantage out of them. Hopefully I can take out my opponents. If you like Geek and Seek and would like to continue seeing us make videos, consider becoming a patron. Joining us on Patreon also means you get to join us on Discord where you can hang out and talk magic. And if you can't support us financially, you can help us out by just checking out some of our other videos and interacting by liking and subscribing. Preston, you won the dice roll. Why don't you start us off? All right, I will draw my card for turn. Oh, that's fantastic. Glimmer Void. At the beginning and end of turn, I mean. If I control no artifact, sacrifice Glimmer Void. I can tap it for one man of any color. And I'm going to do that to cast a Soul Ring. Rude. Right. Pass. Rude. Turn one Soul Ring. So team up on Preston, right? Wait a minute. I mean, you are the Simic player, so we'll see. Ooh, yeah. Fair, 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 <laughs> valid, valid. No, that, that's valid. Uh, we're going to draw. I'm going to play a Reliquary Tower as my, as my land. And start pass. Starting off with a colorless land. I like it. Technically, all lands are colorless because they don't have a color identity. I'm going to play this Sacred Foundry. It will enter tapped and I will pass. I want to play a Sandstep Citadel and pass the turn. All right, I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to put down a Swamp, tap it for one. That of Rebirth, it's an artifact. Whenever another artifact or creature I control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, I put an oil counter on it. Then I can play two and a black, remove four oil counters from that of Rebirth. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. Then I'm going to pay three to put my companion into my hand. And I'll be passing. Draw for turn, play a forest, and pass. I will play this Yavamaya Coast. I will tap for two, taking one from the Yavamaya Coast, and I will cast three visits. I will search my library for a forest card. I'm gonna grab Jetmir's Garden. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna grab Jetmir's Triome, because that's what it should be called. That's what it should be, yeah. yeah brother. Uh, and then I'm gonna pass. I wanna play a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth as my land for the turn. You're welcome, green players. And then this might be wrong because it looks like Preston's playing an artifact deck, but for two, I'm going to plane cycle the Angel of the Ruins, so I get to go find a planes to put into my hand. I'll figure that out, but you can go ahead. I would almost rather pay two to go find a planes than pay seven to exile two artifacts effects or enchantments. But exile is good against him because he can get stuff back with his uh, yeah. companion. So everyone just exile his companion. <laughs> <laughs> what is the rules with that, by the way? They just go to exile they, or crazy or whatever. Exile, yeah. All right, I'm going to pay two to cast my commander, Lotho Corrupt Sheriff. He's a two one halfling rogue. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, I lose one life and make a treasure token. Then I'm going to pay black, float one colorless to cast Drag Recycler. Two two, Phyrexian Beast. I can tap it, sacrifice an artifact creature. Each opponent loses one life, I gain one life. That is my second spell this turn. I will make a treasure token. Do you want me to draw it? I'll draw it. I'll be passing after that. Alright, draw. Let's play an island. Uh, yeah, I'll wait on that and pass. I'm going to play this Rugged Prairie as my land for the turn. I'll tap for three, and I'll put Zerda into my hand, and then I will pass. I thought I had a Sacred Foundry. I guess I don't, so I'm grabbing a Sabai Triumph to put into my hand. Oh, look at us in our Triumphs. On tap up. It's got land types. Yeah, it, it's a Triumph. Why isn't it called a Triumph? All right, not to give away information, I'm gonna play a different land than the one I just tutored for, and then for three, <laughs> I'm gonna cast an Inspiring Overseer when it enters the battlefield. It's a 2-1 with flying when it enters the battlefield. I gain a life and draw a card, and I'll pass the turn. Planes? 
I'm going to cast Underhanded Design. It's an enchantment. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you can pay one generic. If you do, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. I can then pay one in the black, sacrifice Underhanded Design, destroy target creature, activate this ability only if I control two or more artifacts. Which Interesting. That floating colorless. I will tap these two for a white and a black to cast Luris of the Dream Den. That's my second spell this turn, so I'm going to make a second treasure. And I will do Underhanded Design's thing, paying one, you all lose one life, I gain one life. So he is a 3-2 with lifelink. He's my companion. Once during each of your turns, I can cast a permanent spell with mana value two or less from your grave from my graveyard. I am going to swing two at you guys each. Tommy, I guess I'll give you the commander damage. Okay. I don't think it's important it. with the two one, but then I am ready to pass. Draw for turn. Island. Three. Simic Locket. I think I'll pass. I'll keep draw. I am going to play Mount Doom. Cast it into the fire. Then I'm going to tap five. Play Kenrith. Pass the turn. Okay. Preslin's above starting and he's kind of doing stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and hit him in the air for two. How dare you. Second main, we're gonna go for one and a red. We're going to cast Questing Druid's Adventure, which is called Seek the Beast. I exile the top two cards of my library, and then until the end of my next turn, I may play those cards. Command Tower, Eternal Witness. All right, so I'll go ahead and play that Command Tower. So Eternal Witness is just gonna go bye-bye, and Questing Druid is on an adventure. I probably could have held off a turn before doing that, but it's okay, I'll go ahead and pass. All right. Wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna use a Take Back Counter. For two, I'll just go ahead and cast the Questing Druid. Was that your second spell that turn? Yes. Then I, uh, I will lose one life and create a treasure token. If we just storm off, Preston's commander will kill. I forgot to lose the two life from the last two treasures, oh, I think. I guess there we go. We're going to play the best card in the game, Temple of the False God. Yeah! I'm for sure sending Luris towards Morgan, and I think Lotho will go to Tommy again. I was going to say, swing into my 5-5. Five five. Do it. Coward. No. <laughs> but I will tap Drake Recycler, sacrifice an artifact to creature each opponent loses one life, and I gain a life. I'll do that with one of my treasures. Oh, so that is an artifact technically hitting my graveyard from the battlefield. I do get to put an oil counter on the on the guy. Think I'm good to pass. Okay. Play the forest for five urban evolution. Draw three cards, play an additional land this turn. A three. Second land for my for the turn from the urban evolution is gonna be the blighted woodland. Upkeep draw. Play this rogue's passage as my land for the turn. I'm gonna cast Zerta. Activated abilities that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate and uh, it can't reduce the effect to less than one. Zerta also has pay one tap, target creature can't block this turn. I'm gonna swing Kenrith at Preston. In response, because it's really mean, I'm going to exile your companion. <gasps> I'm gonna exile your companion. Okay. Oh, oh, deflecting SWAT. Yeah, nice. get out of here, punk. Right. Goodbye, Luris. All right, have, now we can destroy his have stuff. Have fun riding so you, on the uh, Wait, list. before damage, I'm going to tap for three green and pump him up three times. So he's going to get three plus one plus one counters. Eight and you're going to go to eight commander damage. That's what you get for trying to exile my companion. All right, I pass. Well, at least Preston's a lot less scary with his companion. <laughs> <laughs> that was your second spell that turn? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. For three, I'm gonna go ahead and put my companion into my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and play an overgrown tomb as my land for the turn. I'm not gonna shock it in. If you're not gonna if shock it's a it in, land, then why not just play just the play trial? The Fine, you know what? I am gonna shock it in. Are you confused? Yes. I'm confused. I'm just as confused as I you are. I'm 25. Press in for two. Tommy for one. Pass the turn. I'm gonna play Evolving Wild, crack it, go find a swamp. Um, I'm gonna pass for now. Could you imagine if like a counter spell had Shroud? I have eight cards in hand. Oh, I needed to discard. There's some that they can't discard land. land. Yeah, but I'm saying Continue. like if it had like Hexproof or Shroud, then it couldn't be a deflecting SWAT target. Two and a green. We're gonna Kodama's Reach. Search my library for up to two basics. Reveal them. Put one on the battlefield, tap the other into my hand. I guess two islands because they're all forests because of Yavimaya. You're welcome. Since I have not played a land for my turn yet, I'm gonna go ahead and play that island that I just put in my hand. For five, I'm gonna bring out our, my commander, Emoti. He has Cascade, and he gives spells I cast with mana value six or greater have Cascade. So I'm gonna go ahead and Cascade. Nope, nope, nope. Good. Wow. Wow, I'm glad I'm getting all these lands out of here. That's not, all right. There you go. Moment of the hunt. 
When Omen of the Hunt enters the battlefield, search my library for a basic, put it on the battlefield tab, then shuffle. I'm just going to grab this island. That was your second spell that turn, yes. so I am going to make an artifact. When that happens, I'm going to remember this trigger and pay one to do the thing. You all lose one, I gain one. Okay, okay that's going to even out with you losing the life from yeah. the Yes. If you swing at me again, I no, am I, going to I, I was going to swing at Morgan. Oh, okay. I'm going to swing Kenrith at Morgan. In response, I'm going to make press and make a decision. I'm going to what? channel Boseju, targeting that, destroy target, artifact, enchantment, or non-basic land opponent controls, and then you get to go find a land with a land type. If you're going to activate it, you have to do it now. I am going to activate it. Tommy, get yourself another cascade trigger. All right, well, unfortunately, I will have to take uh, eight. I was going to say, how does it affect me exactly? I was hoping he would target Kenrith. <laughs> Kenny would have been fine. What? He <laughs> <laughs> does have full open mana. So. Yeah. I think I can just swing at Ken, Ken, swing with Kenny and, you know, send it on his very way. Go ahead, Morgan. All right, so I'm finally going to play that Sabai Triome. Let's go ahead and hit Jason in the air for two. I'll take two. Second main. For white and three, we're going to cast Realm Cloaker Giant's uh, Adventure, which is destroy all non-giant creatures. In response, I will tap <laughs> Drager Cycler. I will have him blow himself up. You all lose one life, I gain a Life. Any responses? No, that happens. When those two creatures died, I get two counters on this. Thing. Oh, I guess, sorry. Before Kenny's gone, one blue taking a damage and one to target myself to draw a card. Sacred Foundry to tap the Rugged Prairie for two white, gain 10 life. Ow. I guess I'll tap this for a white and gain another five life, and then they will. that will happen. I did what I can, boys. Pass. All right. I can see why you had a Kenrith deck. This is fun. Yeah, my Kenrith deck's not trying to be degenerate, though. Planes. <laughs> <laughs> Two generic, black and a white. I'll recast my commander. I'm going to sacrifice one of my artifacts that will put another counter on Vat of Rebirth. Then I will use that floating black mana plus two to remove four counters from Vat of Rebirth, bring back Dreg Recycler, so I'll be passing. Whole bunch of Islands right there that are also forests. Thanks, Yavimaya. The Simic player says thank you. Well, the Simic player didn't hit me for eight commander damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, he didn't. Two, seven mana. Yeah, Cascade will trigger. Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. May cast creature spells as though they had flash. Plus one until my next turn up to one target creature. Gains vigilance and reach. And I can minus two to look at the top three cards of my library. Exile one face down, put the rest on the bottom. Uh, as long as it remains exiled, I may look at that card and may cast it if it's a creature spell. That's your second spell next turn, so. Yes. Three to put Karuga into my hand. When a minus two Vivian to look at the top three cards in my library, we're gonna exile that one face down. I uh, will pass. Upkeep draw. All right, I'll do this just because I don't want to discard. One white and one. I'm gonna blow up your command, your planeswalker. Wow. But you okay. get a clue to it. Yeah, you get to you investigate. All right, anything else? Nope. Be an untapped land. It's not. I'm gonna play a Jetmere's Trium like uh, Jason. Yeah! For four, I'll cast my companion Umari the Collector. It's a four or five enters the battlefield. Choose a card type. I'll choose creatures. My creatures cost one less to cast. That's it, best term. They just spelled Trium wrong. You just need to get some altars that are all of those lands, but they have Trium replacing whatever they're called. <laughs> Every time they try to type in Trium. Rafine's Tower? Nah, Rafine's Trium. Rafine's Trium. <laughs> Every time they tried to type in Trium when they were making these cards, the computer was like, did did you mean garden? <laughs> yeah. Clippy just shows no, up. No, <laughs> that's not. Rough. Uh, pass. Okay. Six, seven. Verdant Sun's Avatar. Whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I gain life equal to its toughness. That's no! five life. It's gonna cascade. Uh, it's gonna cascade. It's gonna cascade for Gilanra, Collar of Wirewood. Tap it to add a green. When I spend this mana to cast a spell with converted mana cost six or greater, draw so a card. You don't gain life from that one. You I gain, do, because it enters the battle. It enters the no, battlefield. No, this is not on the battlefield. This is on this the stack. This is a cast on the stack. Oh, and right. That happens. Right, right, So right. you're gonna gain five now. Yeah. That's another spell. So yep. two. Sack this clue token, draw a card. Keeping my hand full and taking advantage taking full advantage of Reliquary Tower. Maybe I should have besieged the Reliquary Tower. Maybe you should have. Oh. Maybe you should have. Just because you destroyed my planeswalker, you're gonna take three commander damage from me, Moti. That's fine. That's also good. above startings. I will pass. Draw. I'm not drawing lands now. Now that you're running the correct amount. Now that I'm running the right amount. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap for one blue, take a damage, and one green. I'm gonna cast growth spiral. Draw I will put this morphic pool onto the back battlefield from my hand. That's just gonna be it. Word. 
Cost one less to cast because of my companion. So for three, I'll cast Bruce Tarl. When he enters the battlefield or attacks, target creature I control gains double strike and lifelink till on the turn, I will choose Omari. And then for one, two, three, four, again, cost one less to cast, I'll cast Orin Frostfang. Two, six, attacking creatures oh. I control have death touch. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Ouch. And then Jason, old pal, I'm gonna hit you for a collective eight damage. And that's two instances of damage. I'll draw two cards from the Orin Frostfang. Bruce Tarl gave it lifelink. So I'll gain eight. I'll follow that up with a Urber, Tomb of Yurgmer. Tomb of Yurgmer. You're welcome, black players. And I'm a pass. Before you pass, I'm just gonna tap Draco Cyclers, sacrifice one of these, put a counter, you all lose one, I gain eight. You're not coming after me, right, Morgan? Not anytime soon, pal. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you, you losing <laughs> two generic, I'm gonna cast Talisman of Hierarchy. I can tap for, for a colorless or white or black and it deals one damage to me. I mean, I'm not gonna use him as a blocker, so I'll just Lotho Jason for two. And then Is I this why you stop passing. playing Kenrith? What do I want to play this turn? Nothing. Pass. That's a great idea. No. Five. Play Karuga the Macro Sage. It's gonna gain me four life. It will not get Cascade because he only has mana value of five. Enters battlefield. Draw a card for each other permanent with mana value three or greater. So five. five. Five cards. I should have put Sage in the Reliquary Tower. You really should. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play this Forest as my land for the turn. Forest, forest Swamp Forest. The Forest Enjoy Swamp your Bayou. Forest. Seven. Holebreaker Horror. I'm gonna gain eight life. Oh! You don't gain the eight life yet because while it's still on the stack, you're gonna cascade. Okay, right. And this is Pilgrimage. Search my library for up to two basic forest cards. There are two more instant and or sorceries in my graveyard. Three basic forests instead. Uh, I have two sorceries, so. So while you're doing all that, I'm gonna lose life and make a treasure. <laughs> if we're gonna deal with the Holebreaker Horror, we need to do it now before it's his turn again. Yeah. I need y'all to really just not, I need you to leave me alone. Now I gain the life. Did you team up? on Simic. And then... Team up on Simic. We knew it would come to this. We <laughs> knew it would come to this. I don't know why we didn't start that. Yeah. So we're going to swing in Moti at Jason. Okay. Good to go. At Pass. the end of your turn, I'm going to tap for four. I'm going to hard cast Deadly Rollick. And there you go. Yep. We hate hard casting a Deadly Exiled. Rollick. Exiled. You got to do what you got to do. I'll play this island as my land for the turn. I'll tap for seven. Cast Kenrith. Pass. I'm going to play a better Temple of the False God. Yes, you will, what baby. Yes, sir. For transparency's sake, since we're kind of have a pseudo alliance against the Simic player for now, I don't really have a board wipe, but a board wipe wouldn't suck. Does anyone have one? I are have they going? One. Are you it. going to deploy it? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. I just wanted one. to know that before I decided whether or not I was going to. Wait, really? To board more. You couldn't have told me that before I cast Kenrith? <laughs> I, what? <laughs> what? I said don't do anything to me. All right, well, if everything's going to die anyways, swing out on Tommy. Okay. On attacks, reminder that Orn Frostfang is giving all of my attacking creatures death touch. Right. And then Bruce Tarl is going to give a uh, target creature I control double strike and lifelink. I will do Omari. I will block the 3-3 three, three with... Karuga, so they'll trade. Okay. Block Umori, the collector, with Vergant Sun's Avatar. Okay, so I'll gain four. So you'll gain four. And then Orin Frostfang will deal damage to you, so I will get to draw a card. And I'll take two damage. I think I'm gonna pass. All right, draw my card for turn. What all creatures do people have in graveyards? Leave Fire. my graveyard alone. So for a total of five, so that's will. Uh, I can choose one or both when I have my commander. I'm actually only going to choose one. Is it the exile all cards yeah, from exile graveyards? Exile all cards yeah. from graveyards. Thank you. Then right. I make X, zero, one, black, throw a Creature tokens where X is the greatest power among creature exiled this way. So I make five zero ones. I'm not actually going to spend a lot of time drawing that because I'm going to tap Drag Recycler to sacrifice one of my treasures. You all lose one, I gain one. Why would he do that before the board wave? Decree of Pain. Yeah. Uh... Destroy all creatures. So I draw 12 cards. Okay. That's good. Good, fair magic. Lotho in, actually in the graveyard. So 11 counters on this? Sure, why not? Sure. <laughs> Have fun discarding. <laughs> I should have killed Preston. <laughs> Just in case anyone's gonna do something, I'm gonna pay two. Archivist of Ohigma, it's a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever an opponent searches their library, I gain one life and draw a card. Are you the only one that has a companion not exiled? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two swamps, Daxos, Blessed by Sun, Selfless Spirit, and Cathar Commando into the graveyard. Pass. Well, that sucked. On it your is. end step, I'm going to pay three, and I'm going to play Degadent Dragon's Adventure, which is expensive taste. I'm going to exile the top two cards of Tommy's library face down so you don't get to see them. I may play them for as long as they are in exile. Well, one of these specifically is terrible. Play an island. 
four. Right, cast Eureka Moment, draw two cards, put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Best card in the game, Temple of the False God. I mean, we know Tommy's still a threat, right? I don't know that. I don't know that anymore. If I'm I don't gonna... know that, yeah, I don't, uh, All of my permanents are two or less. For three Far Wanderings, search my library for a basic, put that card on the battlefield, tapped and shuffle. I'm also for, for four Circuitous Route. All right, just give um, Preston more cards, great. Yeah, and I'm an agent of chaos. We're the only ones that do. actually want to win. This is what I want to do. Okay, so we still kill so Tommy I'm, first, not because he's necessarily so ready more, because for... he's feeding into Preston. So I'm gonna go find my Simic Guild Gate, because I know I have it, to probably forests. Sisse's ring, two and a green reclamation sage. I'm gonna blow up the vat of rebirth. What does the vat of rebirth ever done to you? All right, I'll untap, draw, probably pass, play a planes, tap for nine, play Kenrith. <laughs> Bored <laughs> wife. <laughs> I would cry. All right, I'm gonna pass. So for six, taking two off of the ancient tomb, I wanna play Soul of the Harvest, six, six with trample. Whenever another non token creature enters the battlefield under my control, I may draw a card. I'm going to play a temple garden as my land for the turn. I'm gonna shock it in. And then for five, I'm going to cast Urfrask. Four, four with haste. Other creatures I control have haste and creatures my opponents play entered the battlefield tapped. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could read Phyrexian. That's cool. Fluent <laughs> Tolkien style. Uh, <laughs> when Urfrask enters, I draw a card off the soul of the harvest and then I'm going to swing six trampling damage at Weston. Well, next turn I am going to actually feel a little bad about it, but I am going to be blocking two of that six damage. <laughs> Targeted removal! There's five, four creatures on the battlefield! Targeted removal! I don't have targeted removal. <laughs> That's not my fault! I pass. I'm so glad I didn't cast emoji. <laughs> if I don't get rid of the creatures, will you not swing at me next turn since he's at 44 with Simic? I didn't plan on swinging at you. I'm not I... asking you, I'm asking this. No, yeah, I just wanted the search thing gone. Oh, okay. 10, and then two black, exchange your knight for 10. Oh! Mm. Right, so like, don't attack me! Dude, even though I have such, twice I hate twice that twice that sandbagging! Play my Malakir Myers plant for turn and I'll end the battlefield 10. Pass? Yeah, pass. Okay. Play forest. Emoti for nine. Cascade. Cross and grip. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Soul ring, I guess. I guess. I guess. Yeah, because it's fun. It's the worst thing you can hear <laughs> players say. <laughs> nine. Artisan of Kozilek. Cascade. <sighs> Progenitor Mimic. <laughs> okay, okay. He I am, is going to cascade I, again off of that one. I will, I, am, get, I will get another cascade off of Progenitor Mimic. Also, you can't target <clears throat> Artisan with this because oh, that's a good point. that'll enter first. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Rash, rash me. me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's fine, it's Did, fine. There's a boardwalk coming, there's a boardwalk coming. It's yeah. fine, it's fine. Now Progenitor Mimic enters as a copy of, I guess Reclamation Sage is the only one it can target. Blow up his so other artifact? The other artifact. Okay. And now Artisan of Kozilek enters. And when I cast this spell, I can return and target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. So that'll be the only creature in my graveyard, Galanra Collar of Wild Wirewood, enters tapped for two and a green. Sacrifice, Omen of the Hunt, Descry two. Put those both on the bottom. Glimmer's Void checks every end step. Oh, so you lost that land? At the end step, I will. Since I'm pretty sure I know what's coming, I'm gonna hit Preston for two. What did Preston do? Pass. All right, untap. I'm gonna gain 10 life. Kenrith. Then I'm going to swing for five at Tommy. After damage, while we're still in combat, while he's still attacking, I'm going to tap for one white and one blue, and I'm going to cast Azorius Charm, and I'm going to put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. Nice. Okay, okay. Can I will the pass the turn. Oh, if the board wipe's coming, is it even worth playing anything? Question. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go to combat. I'm gonna hit Tommy for ten. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Objectively, you should swing some of that at Preston. He's at forty-nine. Six at Tommy, four at Preston. Okay. I'll pass the turn, I guess. White, white. One, two, three, four. Farewell. Yep. Choosing everything but graveyards. I oh guess. my god. Damn. Fuck. It's like objectively the best board wipe in the game. Like. Uh, there are definitely decks that don't want it. We'll do a podcast episode about it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> true. Black and one, oversold cemetery. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four more creature cards in your graveyard, you can return one of them from your graveyard to your hand. It's a little hard to keep the ball rolling when everybody, every board wipe in the game gets played. Okay, Thornwood Falls enters tapped. I gain one life. Get him. 10, 11. Cascade. Thank God. Thank <laughs> God these are all good. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Nope. I don't know if I have any of my cheap ones left. There we go, Migration Path. Two basics, put them on the battlefield, tap and shuffle. All things considered, so perfectly fine with that. I'm totally so, I'm, so I'm just shuffling these bad boys back in. Let's get one of each. It's not that bad, guys. It's just 
objectively worse than Discover. That's true. Yeah, Cask. I like your Cascade logic. Needed there. a power boost, I think. Yeah, that needed to get better. Definitely, yeah. Eight giant onk egg. Oh. Eight eight with trample and ward two. Other creatures I control have trample and ward two. Okay, so it's gonna Cascade. Lay claim, enchant permanent, control enchanted permanent. I guess the over. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to steal a land. So it would get another Cascade. <gasps> Well, that's game, I think, fellas. Well, actually, with it still on the stack, you have, you cascade again, don't you? There it is. A decanter of endless water. All right. It's a mana rock. Could could have been a lot worse. Then this hits. So you're gonna buy it back once. The sack islands? three islands. So move to my next turn. Six, seven, eight. Maelstrom Colossus. So it'll cascade off of Emoti and itself. Dawnglade Regent. Oh. I become the monarch when it enters, but we'll get to that when it enter actually enters. So now does he have to cascade this before he does yes. this yes. cascade? So now yes. I'm cascading for six. That's four. Four. Thunderous Snapper. That doesn't get a cascade because it's only four. But you now you get the Maelstrom Colossus. But then I'll cascade. get the second. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to cast it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's I not worth not it. I'm just going to bottom it. Uh, Thunderous Snapper. Cast a spell with five or greater draw a card. That didn't happen. When it enters the battlefield, I become the monarch. Where's my Burger King? Crown. Well, technically two. it did. With the one that gives us stuff hexproof on the stack, I'm going to pay five, pay two for the war two. I'm going to flash in solitude. I'm going to exile this thing. You're okay. going to gain eight life, eight but life. that's probably worth the, worth trading. Yeah. I hard cast the deadly relic. You hard cast solitude. It's what? a bad day. All what right? is this game? <laughs> I'm still monarch. A terastodon in a cascade. This is renewal. Search my life for up to three basics. Put them on the battlefield tap. Then shuffle. I gain seven life. Isn't that game cascade first? Oh, it's it is. Cascade cascade also, first. this is getting triggered when I cast yes. that. So yeah, so and I will draw a card. That. I'm gonna go ahead and draw both those cards from Terastodon and then the Nissa's Renewal. Farhaven Elf. Uh, Search my labor for another basic. Put it onto the tap. So I'm looking for four basics if I have that many left. So that. that goes off. Now I gain the seven life. I look for four basics. When it ETBs, you destroy. May it. destroy. May destroy up to three target non-creature permanents. Oh, why uh, don't know. Why did I think it was enchantments? You could blow up the Yavamaya so you don't have your fixing anymore. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I could blow up the Urborg so you don't have your fixing anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep in mind, everything you blow up does get replaced with a three-three elephant. I'm in mill territory. It's a uh, I'm not going to use Terastodon, Preston. For three commander and then end step trigger i draw a card because i'm the monarch we're still kind of friends right jason do you have a board wipe yeah okay i will so draw don't, for turn so don't nope, play your commander I, I got you brother <laughs> i'm gonna cast stroke of genius where x is equal to six. Oh, nice i guess i'll play this evolving wilds as my land for the turn that is all i'm gonna do i'm gonna have to discard just to save time i'm gonna crack the evolving wilds sure press i'm gonna hit you for three i'll press two I'll gain three because of lifelink. Seven. Cast Deathbringer Regent. It's a five six with flying. It enters the battlefield. If I cast it from my hand, which I did, and there are five or more other creatures on the battlefield, which there are, destroy all other creatures. Hoya, as the kids would say. For four, we're going to bring the decadent dragon from his adventure into play. He's a four four with flying and trample, and then whenever he attacks, I create a treasure token. Pass the turn. Swamp. I'm gonna cast Graceful Restoration. I didn't take two off of the Agent Tomb. Continue. All right, so I'm going to choose return up to two target creature cards with power two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Read right. Dax as for the viewers. Toughness is equal to your devotion to white, which is currently one, two, three. Whenever another creature you control end of the battlefield dies, I gain one life. He will see Lotho yep. entering, so I'll gain one life. Black and a white. Bottle de Presido. Two, one, sacrifice another creature or artifact, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. That is my second spell this turn. I will make a treasure and lose a life. I will gain that life back because it's a creature. P -p -p pass Give all my stuff hexproof. So let's go in your hand. One the monarch. Yeah. He's he's a disaster. Forest for turn. Seven. Bring back out the Dawnglade Regent. And as long as I am the monarch, permanent I control have hexproof. Four. Radagast, Wizard of Wilds. Three five with Ward One, Beasts and Birds. I control have Ward One. Whenever I cast a spell with mana value five or greater, choose one, create a three three green beast or a two two blue bird with flying. Seven eight. Brian Lynn, the Moon Kraken. Six eight. When he enters the battlefield, or whenever I cast a spell with converted mana cost six or greater, uh, I may return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Probably Daxos. I sent back to his hand. I'll create a three three green beast. Five six. I'm gonna cast Walk the Eons again, and I will buy back again. Going to my extra turn. Untap. Sorry, here's your 3-3 three, three beast. It's Marshawn oh, yeah. Lynch. Draw a card on the end step because of, of the Monarch. We'll do Thunderous Snapper. I'll go to my hand. You know, don't tap his brick of land. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Annoyed Altasaur. Cascade. Seven, oh, four, no. Five, six. Rivers Rebuke. Uh, Non-land permanence to their owner's hand. I think Choose me. I think Preston. Well, I'm going to sack my treasures. Uh-huh, yeah. Oh. 
All right, so I'll create another bird. Yeah, I'll do your decadent dragon. Oh, I should have done this in a different order. Four for the thunderous snapper. Cast a spell, convert a mana cost five or greater, draw a card. Jesus. Oh, I never played a land on my second turn. We'll do this war room. I'm gonna cast the worn power stone for three. I'm gonna go to combat. Now, if you kill me first, you do lose that enchantment. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even work anymore no. now, does it? No, because now he only has three I'm creatures. Down to, I'm down to only three Shut creatures. Up. So I think I swing out on Preston. Six. Seven, eight, nine, plus eight, seventeen. Yeah, get more shots. Twenty, twenty-two. I can't take twenty-two. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, we're gonna pass. <laughs> Didn't think I'd even get a turn. It's I, been, it's been I so be, long, I'm dude. gonna be honest, I thought we were dead. <laughs> it's been so long. What's your plan for your turn? I have no freaking clue. Playing this Tainted Woodland as my land for the turn. Haha, ha, Woodland. And I wanna play Kenrith. Heck yeah. Can I do that? Just gonna pass. Uh, yeah, hey, did really you draw should've. on your end set because you're the monarch? Nope. I'm gonna take two off of the Ancient Tomb. I'm going to Expensive Taste again. I'm gonna exile the top two cards of Preston's. Maybe Preston has something that we can use to our advantage. And he has colors I'm more likely to be able to cast. Mm, well, I'm gonna play that Reliquary Tower I stole from him. And then for one, two, I'm gonna cast a Felwar Stone that I stole from him. <laughs> Great, and it helps so much. Hey, you know what? The Felwar Stone gets oh, me a little yeah. bit closer you to steal, playing you the honestly, cards I stole from Tommy. Honestly, you should have you just taken Tommy's cards, get him closer to milling out. Yeah, but he's playing blue, and I uh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an to God, I'm glad those were not my next two draws. <laughs> For four, I'll bring the dragon out, and then I'll play a Birds of Paradise, a zero one flyer that taps for one of any color. I would like my creatures to have haste now, brother. I will tap for one red, and I will give all creatures trample and haste. Yeah. Until end of turn. In response. Why you gotta be sauced? <laughs> Seven. I'm gonna scour from existence. Your guardian chip. Oh, <gasps> yay! Cool. All right, we're gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing at you, Tommy, with a five-six flyer and a four-four flyer. On attacks, the decadent dragon will make me a treasure token. They both have haste and trample. Correct. Okay. Well, the four-four. I'm gonna block with annoyed altasaur, so it'll die. Oh crap! You and wanna buff it? The five-six no. <laughs> to block some of it. I'll use the bird. Kill the bird. So I blocked two of it with the bird. So you still take three. Well, I kind of blowed. I told you I had the annoyed altasaur. Didn't realize it was a six five, but that's yep. my that's my own fault. Oh, so I'm gonna become the monarch as I dealt damage to you. Oh yeah. Play on. Druid of Purification. It's a two three man. Just the battlefield starting with me. Each player chooses an artifact or enchantment I do not control, and we destroy each permanent chosen that way. I'm gonna hit the decanter of endless waters. Trick. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the thing that says you can gain control of my thing. I'm just gonna choose the only other artifact you have. So. I could blow up the thing Preston just took. For me that he wanted to save. I don't have a choice. I go to end set by draw a card because I'm the monarch. Hey, yep. he played the card. I'm just following the rules. Go ahead, Tommy. Or uh, Preston, whoever you are. <laughs> whoever you are. <laughs> I think I get an extra turn after that one. A white and a black. Lotho. Daxos. I'll lose a life and make a treasure. Black. Three. Blood for Bones is an additional cost to sacrifice a creature. Return a creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield, then another one from my graveyard to my hand. Sack Daxos. Gonna bring Archivist of Magma to the battlefield. And yeah, I'm just gonna bring Daxos back. I'm gonna pass for now. Okay. Draw for turn. Well, guys, it's been fun. Vivid Creek enters the battlefield tapped with two charge counters on it. Five, six. Rampaging Baloths. That's a card. Should have played that before I played the Vivid Creek. Oh, well. I will create another bird. I'm going to return the treasure token to your uh, hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I draw a card with from the Thunderous Snapper. Four. Sack the Blighted Woodland. I'm going to go find two more islands. <laughs> You actually had basics to find still? Yeah, somehow. Landfall trigger, I'll get two, four, four green beasts. Five, six, sacrificing these three islands. Cast another walk the eons and buy it back. Guess what? I get it back. Okay. In response, tap for one white and one blue. Dovin's veto. Oh, heck yeah, oh, boy. Good. All right, well. There's your beast. Heck, it's funny. I've got enough to kill Jason. Yep, swing all out at Jason. Uh, in response, I'm gonna tap the Mount Doom for a red to tap the Rugged Prairie for two white and using in this one for three, I'll gain five life. Go to 31. I think you're... S I don't think I am. No, you're not, because you'll block one of it, and then it's yeah, not, I'll no block your 32. Four, four, I'll block your 4-4 four, four with my 5-5, five, five, and instead of taking 32, I'll take 28. Actually... Don't I'm, kill me, no, Preston. I, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to blow up that 6-8. Heck yes. Yeah, so Let's go. 
That's appreciate fair. it. <laughs> probably dead either way. Understandable. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what we do, but you know, we got another turn to figure it out. Cool. I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys got another turn. Six. Uh, spitting image. We're gonna create a token that's a copy of annoyed altasaur. That's annoying. So it's another six five with reach and trample and cascade. That's it. Going out in a blaze of glory, boys. For eight. Root awakening. Entwined. <laughs> What's that gonna do? Um, choose one. I paid the entwined cost, so I get to choose both. Untap all lands you control. Until end of turn, lands you control become two two creatures that are still lands. Are you gonna tap those for mana first? Yes. I'm floating four green, and then they will untap and become two twos. Then with that four green, I'm gonna play Triumph of the Hordes. Now they're all three threes with uh, trampling in effect. Cool. I'm gonna die. Yes, you are. These will all get blocked, and only one point of damage will get one through. One point so of damage. So that's one. These three. One address or turn of. These events. are gonna go at Morgan. <laughs> Actually, no, they're going at Preston. I guess I'll because swing you guys. Hey, you, Morgan. Marker's I'll double block so I kill one of your lands. And then, Tommy, did you block? I blocked with everything I could. Okay, so oh. which one of these lands do I get to keep? I'm going to take the six infect. I'll let you keep the morphic pool. So you're at how much infect? He's at, at nine. nine. Oh, wow. My go, then? That was okay. it. Like I said, I was I'm, I was going out in a blaze of glory. Good job. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're the monarch now. And I get to draw a card. Is it a free spell? <laughs> I think I'm going to tell you. It's not. <laughs> uh, Bruce Tarl enters the battlefield. Target uh, creatures oh, going to yeah. get double strike and lifelink. I'm going to do the Deathbringer Regent. Really? Am I just done? Yeah, we're going to go to combat. I'm going to hit Preston for two, and I'm going to hit Jason for ten. And I'm going to gain, well, technically only nine, because you only have nine life left. Bye, boys. And I'm the Monarch again. For six, I'm going to cast Harvest of Souls, 5-5 five, five with Death Touch. Whenever another non-token creature dies, I may draw a card. I will pass the turn. My money's on Morgan. At this point, yeah, my money's on Morgan. My money's on Morgan, too. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> cool! And on end step, I'll draw a card, because I'm the Monarch. I'm gonna play my own Urborg. Now your swamps are swamps threefold. Don't patronize me. Bring oh. out my commander. Okay. Two white. Daxos. That's my second spell. Make a treasure. Lose a life. Pay two to foretell a card. I guess we pass. Okay. For four, I'm going to cast a Ravenous Chubacabra ETB. I'm going to blow up both of your creatures. Both? Oh, wait. No, it's target creature. There's a reason I was thinking about that. Never mind. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just get rid of them both. I'm going to blow up your commander. In response, I'm going to pay two to cast Cosmic Intervention. If a permanent control will be put into a graveyard from the battlefield this turn, exile it instead. Return it to the battlefield under its own control at the beginning of the next end step. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. Gain one life because my creature still died. Oh, so I do get this draw then. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes, okay. then yeah, Sorry. you would. I'm going to take two off of Ancient Tomb, and for three, I'm going to cast Midnight Reaper. It's a 3-2. Whenever a non-token creature I control dies, it deals one damage to me, and I draw a card. For five, I'm going to cast Ikra Shadiki. So three, seven with Menace. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I gain life equal to that creature's toughness. At <laughs> the 11th hour, finally, Ikra Shadiki hits the battlefield. And then for two, I'm going to cast Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. Two on with first strike. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. We're gonna do our best here, boys. We're gonna go ahead and swing at you for two, seven, 12 damage. Wait, 13, 14, 15. And then on attacks, Bruce Tarl's gonna give something double strike and lifelink. We will do the Deathbringer Regent. It's 20 total if you don't block. All right, I'll block the five, five. Okay, so it dies, I will draw a card. So you'll take 15, I will gain 10. And I will play an Ancient Ziggurat as my lane for the turn. Kind of bonkers in this deck. Oh, and then Ikra Shadiki. Whenever a creature I control deals combat damage, to a player, I gain life equal to that creature's toughness. I hate life gain. No, you don't. <laughs> How could you even say that with a straight face? I will pass the turn. <laughs> These the guys office. come back. And then uh, he will see him coming back. So yep. I gain one. Gromp. Oh, I draw on my end step. You I do. Fortunate. Put that on the planes. Put him below the Presido. Okay. Do you want a showcase version of him? I have an extra one, I think. What I want. Other than to win this game, is but. to pass the turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, Ancient Tomb's really good if you don't have. Uh, you're gonna be gaining a bunch of life. I would like to point out that every player who played Temple of the False Gods lost this game. <laughs> For just, just seven, sorry. I'm gonna cast a Cultivator Colossus. Oh, why? <laughs> why? Wait a minute, why? Why are you doing this? Enters the battlefield, I'm gonna put a land onto the battlefield tap, so I'll draw a card. I can repeat the process as many times as I can. Oh, draw God. a card, draw a card, <laughs> card. Oh, I thought you were about to hit. 
Oh, oh, you did. You right. did. Is that the only thing you've cast yet? So far? That is my only cast so far. If you cast something else, you make him lose another life. Now you spit him. <laughs> <laughs> We've dragged this game out long enough. I'm going to swing at Preston with everything Perfect that can fun. swing on attacks. I'm going to give the flyer double strike from Bruce Tarl uh, and Lifelink. Oh. I guess he could have settled the wreckage. That would suck. I'm wow. gonna go. I'm gonna stay at one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> let's go. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to gain 10 what is from the lifelink. And then Ikra Shadiki, I'm going to gain... I should be keeping track of commander damage, but I, I don't think it's going to matter. And then, is this a May ability? It's not. So, for two... Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> I'm going to Ornithopter of Paradise. He still can't lose the game. Yeah, I'm, he goes, I'm still just going to go to one. It's and still going to stay at one. Oh, yeah. dang it. What constitutes damage and what's n life loss? Does it say deal damage? No, no it's just lose, lose one, one life. life. That's not damage. I think technically you're dead, but we can play it out. Sacrifice my commander, gain a life. There, I'm at one anyways. All right, cool. <laughs> and he gets one bigger. All right. uh, it costs one more to cast because of Thalia, but I'm going to send Mosswood Dread Knight on an adventure to cast Dread Whispers to lose a life and draw a card. Three mana and one life to draw a card. That's value, my That's boys. That's value. No, it's, it's actually bad. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> For two, we're going to cast Suture Priest. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I may gain a life. And whenever a creature enters the battlefield under my opponent's control, I may have them lose a life. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to pass the turn. Wow, you're you're kind of boxed in here. <laughs> <laughs> gonna cast Soul Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna have him lose a life? Yeah, you're gonna lose a life. Okay. <laughs> Good, game. Good game. I forgot to Good draw game. my instep because I'm the monarch, but who cares? Good game. Good game. That was a game. That was crazy. <laughs> that is not at all how I expected that game to go, but I love this deck so freaking much. <laughs> We're gonna be talking more about these decks, more about this game next week in the after show on NSUP. So make sure you're subscribed and check that video out when it comes out, unless you're joining us on Patreon and in our Discord, in which case you might be able to see that video a few days early and make sure you subscribe to see other awesome magic gathering content and check out some of our previous videos we'll see you guys next time bye